My name is Rick Harrell, and this presentation today is The Soldier's Journey. I'm the director of Heroes Voices, and this is the culminating event of our National Veterans Poetry Contest. When Mr. Ferlinghetti was asked which of his poems he would like included in today's performance of The Soldier's Journey, he suggested this one, The Sea. The sea, through the trees, distant, shining, the dark foreground, a stone wall with lichen. An old salt sits staring out to sea. A wind sways the palms infrequently. Another day prepares for heat and silence. A small plane buzzing like a fly disturbs the sky. The air eats it. Never will I return here, never again breathe this wind on this far run in the reaches of the morning where the sea whispers patient and salt. The sun scorches the sky and drops like a burnt out match into night. And I am still an animal, perhaps once a bird, a halcyon, who makes its nest at sea on my little flight across the little chart of my existence. I still await an epiphany by the petri dish of the sea where all life began by swimming. But it's time now to give an accounting of everything, an explanation of everything, such as why there is darkness at night. Everywhere the sea is rising, am I to be drowned with the rest of them? Pardon my conduct, then, if I cannot give you a final word, a final unified theory of existence, all thoughts subsumed in one great thought. Utopian vision. Humans, with all their voices, as myriad as the syllables of the sea, have never been able to fathom man's fate, nor tell us why we are here. Neither patient nor placid in the face of all this, in the sea of every day with its two tides, I run before the wind, immune to hidden reefs or harbors. Someone throws me crystal fruits in the shape of life preservers. Others wave from distant strands. Goodbye. Goodbye. Shipwrecked ashore at the mercy of avaricious gulls, and yet, and yet we are still not born for despair. Spring comes anyway. Is there anything more to be said before they carry us off as dead while we're still dreaming, still in search of the bread of the word cast upon the waters? The dough that rises in the yeast of speech, in the written word, in poetry. Between two waves, the ocean is still. A silence of ages lasting but a moment. The sea roars, but says no more. Oh, the yarns it could spin, if it would, between its rages, under the eye of the sun, under the ear of the sky. Oh, endless, inchoate, incoherent narrative. Voyager, press on. We are not our fathers. Yet we carry on, breathing like them, loving and killing like them. Away then, away in our tall ships. Over the hills of ocean, to where Atlantis still rides the tides. To where that magic mountain, not on any map, wreathed in radiance still hides. <laughs> 